Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Hamoudi from Bilu Media. Today I want to build a tiny whoop. It's uh, the Flywoo Nano Baby 2S drone and it uses uh, 2S ba LiPo batteries. Actually I bought it uh, and I crashed it and I had to change the motor because the thread uh, on the motor got broken and I couldn't uh, fix the motors, only glue them. And I thought why uh, not do a completely new build for you guys to see. So let me show you what I have here. Here I have the motors. They are 1002 motors, 15500 kV. Here we have the flight controller and the ESC in one. So it's one board for uh, for weight. It's uh, it weight uh, less than a stack. One interesting thing with this build is that it uses an HD system. Normally, a tiny whoops like this uses uh, analog system and. Uh, once you try the HD system, you can't go back to analog. And I am happy that they could figure it out and find a solution for this. So basically this is a Cadex Vista, normal Cadex Vista, but uh, it got the heatsink stripped out. So here and here, you see you don't have the heatsink because uh, of weight, of course. And in this way, you have uh, an HD system on a tiny drone that flies really really good. I really love this drone guys and here we have the Cadix uh, Nano I guess I, I'm not sure about this but it's uh, it's really small compared to the DJI uh, one. Let me show you what I have here what you need basically to make this build happen. They are not all mandatory but they help a lot. Here I have an electric screwdriver. This is the ES15 from Miniware. Miniware was kind enough to send me this uh, for my projects. And it's really great uh, tool. I really love it. I had one before, normal, I mean electric one, but not uh, from Miniware. And uh, it's, it's very, very different, this product. I really love it. And it has a motion control. I mean, you press the button, and twist your uh, hand to activate it and the speed as well if you twist more it got uh, more speed another tool again from miniware is the ts 101 this is the one it's really really nice tool and i love it because it's portable and you can use it with lipo batteries with uh, normal batteries external batteries and directly hooked uh, to the outlet it's really nice tool and i printed cases for both of them to protect them and uh, basically have it uh, at hand easy i have here flux this is not mandatory, but it helps a lot with solder to stick. I have here a cutter. I think it's called a cutter. This is really good. Some tweezers, tip cleaner for the solder uh, iron, a tape. This uh, for fixing wires from the motors, these ones, to the frame. Yeah, you can uh, use a small zip tie basically for this, but uh, I want it, uh, I want to use the tape. And this one is really good. This is magnifier because things are really small and with this you can, uh, you can see better. Maybe if you are 20, you can see without it, but I, I can't see without it. Since this is HD camera, it's not 4K, it's not perfect. It's okay, but it's not perfect. And I have the Run Cam Thumb Pro. This is really great little camera and uh, not so expensive compared to the Insta360, I think. Go, yeah, go to. It's, it's good, believe me. It's really, really good. Uh, one thing that it's not okay with this is that you can't see what you are doing. You can connect it to a phone and you have an application. I think it's called, uh, basically you see what uh, the camera sees and it's okay. So let's start with the flight controller. We have 
grommets here. Flywu made it a little bit easier. You, you see you have some holes here so you can attach them easy. This is really smart because otherwise it's hard and you need the dental floss uh, to make it happen. As you can see they attach really 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 easy. Since we don't have anything in this part we can attach it directly to the frame because all the soldering will happen on uh, this uh, part i just took a look at uh, how flywu made it and i don't understand why so this is the face of uh, this is the front of the flight controller and it should be like this and they put it somewhere like this I guess to protect the USB here because the battery is uh, comes on top of the USB and in this way you protect the USB I guess this is why they did it like this but to be honest I want to make it normal I mean to point like this and we will see if I'm mistaken or not you can see here so this is the front yeah, of the gyro and you have motor 1, motor 2, motor 3, motor 4. But if you put it like this, then you have to remap all the motors and I don't see a good reason to do this. For this we have those screws and those bolts like this. And now put the bolt, we will put the bolts on top since we have the soldering on this part uh, only it's safe to secure the flight controller now we have the flight controller secured and let's start attaching the motors and the prop guards since we don't have a plug here in the flight controller I have to cut them and solder uh, them uh, separately. Those are the screws for the motors with the prop guard. There are smaller screws if you want to attach without the prop guards. Okay, so this is how it looks like now. One thing I don't really like about the motors is that the thread is really weak if you crash it a lot i guess you have to glue it after all at the end now we have to pretend the pads here 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 and here to solder the motor wires for this we use the flux and we simply put a little bit flux here So basically what I'm going to do is to take some solder and put on the pads. I will do the same for the uh, wires and then they will stick easier. It's important to see if they are bridging, I mean if they are touching each other and it's not the case so it is safe i like to uh, twist the wire a little bit like this so they are not messy and then we cut them to length and attach them to the flight controller and we can strip them with the fingernail it's so easy to do this and twisting the wires a little bit so let's pretend them uh, by pre-tinning, I mean to put a little bit solder on the wires so they stick to the existing uh, solder that uh, is on the flight controller. I will not put a lot, just a little bit. The order is not important since you can uh, change the order in beta flight after. like this the first one is done and the last one 
and we have the first motor on and it looks great so now i will do the same for the other ones too now we have all the motors attached and they look good and i will put them like this nicely here and secure them with a tape i will cut a strip from this I think it looks really good and we have to do the same for the other ones perfect so this is how it looks I think it looks really cool and organized and professional perfect so this step is done now let's attach the wires for the Vista and for this we have to look on the scheme we have our drone like this we have to attach the vista to uart number six i want to attach it here so this is uh, those two pads this one and this one the ground here and the vbat right here these are really small <laughs> so the first one the plus and here i have the minus one this is really fun to do guys it's really small but it's uh, i enjoy it very much <laughs> it's a little bit hard but it's uh, relaxing for me at least so i am putting the rx now yellow wire and now the last one is the other one the tx like this so now we have all the wires from the vista attached let's do this one this is for the uh, run cam camera we need a 5 volt and ground and I will use I think those two like this and now the ground and now we have the wires for the run cam now let's attach the wires for the battery so here is the ground and here is the plus you have to be patient here because it's thicker and it uh, takes more time to heat and attach so just take your time yeah now i like it and this is the other one Okay, perfect so now it's ready and it looks good this will be out here for the battery now I want to attach the camera in the canopy here so it is it goes like this here in this uh, opening and we have those screws the short ones that will go will fix the camera in position the only thing here is that this is a fixed angle lens so you can't modify it very much i mean you can't modify it at all but from what i saw it's okay for me at least it's okay i don't need a different angle and now let's put the antenna here this is the antenna so we can attach it to the motherboard to the flight controller i mean now let's attach the wires from uh, the main board to the cadex uh, board it's basically simple we have the plus the minus the TX and the RX the thing is 
that the TX from the board itself will go to the RX in the Cadex Vista and the RX from the flight controller will go to the RX uh, from the Cadex Vista so it's it's a cross because on a po on one port you have to read and the other one uh, transmit in that uh, port so first we have the plus one the plus wire and the second one is the minus and we have the yellow one which is the rx here on the vista and tx on the flight controller and the last one is the tx on the vista and the rx on the flight controller and basically we are done with the wiring guys so i put the elrs receiver here antenna i mean and i have this zip tie to put it to fix it here and now let's fix uh, fix this for this i have screws here and some spacers so we have first the spacers up here between the canopy and the vista the cadex unit so we have to put the sp those spacers first this is the tricky part a little bit because you have to be careful how you do it and fix all the screws at once and now we can put those bolts here perfect now i need to reroute the wires in such a way that they will be protected and that's all what i need to do now we should tighten those screws and they enter this bolt right here i don't know if you can see it yet and it tighten it holds the whole thing together and it's finished guys so this is it we made it now the fun part we have to see if it works <laughs> One thing that I have to do is to remap the motors because I think uh, they are mapped incorrectly. I mean the way that uh, the drone was facing was uh, incorrectly for uh, how I uh, put the motors now. So this I have to do in beta flight. But, but let's try and see if it works. So for this definitely I recommend using this guys do not use without this because if you make a mistake you will fry something and this if it detects uh, uh, basically the plus and minus touching somewhere it will stop so let's connect it and see if it works so right away you see that we have a battery and now we connect it to the drone Ooh. yay perfect it works guys this is amazing so we don't need this anymore we can attach attach it directly to the battery i want to see if this powers the run cam camera we have the light here so it's working as well and this will come here and it's perfect let's see if it connects to the receiver to the transmitter i mean let me connect my tx16s right away you see here that we have the link this means that it's connected so let's arm the motors we don't have props so it is safe it will not go anywhere
so yeah perfectly guys next I will uh, put the props and uh, uh, try to fly it but first I will uh, make the tuning in beta flight to see if everything is okay and after we will try to fly it thank you guys thank you very much for watching see you in the next one thank you bye Mankind, Trinity Tang Global Sensation. I'm until the day come, yeah, till the day come. Red, white, black, flag, body gon' shake some. Green, yellow, black, flag, rude, gal, shake some. We don't want no drama in this, so don't make none. Up until the day come, yeah, until the day come. Say they want smoke when we see them, they don't say none. Yeah, they all talk, all them stories they be made up. Really putting work, all them nights we done stayed up. Really from the islands, whole fan from Jamaica. Yard man style when my come true. Pull up, cooler with my pops and my uncle. Bless it. On stamp pipe jungle, shout out to my cousin, yeah, one two, yeah. Never force a vibe, let it come to. I tell man, sell a tofu. Really in the trenches, eating so full. Certain places you can't go to. Bear gun, man, and now you're rare. Still the same ones. When it come to chats, we don't take none. Cheese. Bad man, Jamaica. Trinity Tank Global Sensation. Mob until the day come, yeah, till the day come. Red, white, black flag, body gon' shake some. Green, yellow, black flag, rude, gal, shake some. We don't want no drama in this, so don't make none. Mob until the day come, yeah, till the day come.